I've just finished making a series of four big cat faces made out of shapes. So we'll start with the first one, which is the cheetah face. So the cheetah was one of the first that I made. It was actually sort of the second, which I'll explain a little bit later. Um, but I really loved making this one. It was kind of simple and I think having the mouth the way it is sort of helps round out the face and it softens that really angular shape on the bottom of the triangle. So it sort of makes it look like that little piece is the chin or even maybe the neck. Having the big wide mouth at the bottom helps balance the heaviness of the forehead sort of area too. I had heaps of fun making this. My daughter loves cheetahs and she really likes this so that made it extra exciting. So the next one is the lion. I had lots of fun making this one too and using the octagon shape I really thought would be cool because I could add those little main pieces to each of the flat sides of the shape. So that was really the inspiration for that one. And I just had a lot of fun playing with the nose area and just generally working it out as I went. I do normally do concept sketching for more serious work, but part of doing these is just to kind of have fun and let go without any strict rules or pressures. So I just kind of went for it. I had an idea in my head and I just sort of made it up as I went and it worked out all right as, as far as I think anyway. So the third one that I made was the panther face. This one actually seemed to do the most poorly on my shorts, but I did really like it personally. Part of that might have been because I have a black cat called Spooky and it sort of reminded me of him. I sort of made it with slight inspiration from my cat. And I kind of liked the mouth on this one too. I just thought it was a little bit different. Thought, yeah, okay, if this had a body, it could be a sick ass panther tattoo cover up maybe, I don't know. Um, you tell me, but I was pretty happy with the result for this one too. And I think this one would look really nice on a shirt or something like that, um, as well as just a regular kind of print. Okay, so the last one is the square faced tiger. So the reason I said the cheetah was sort of the first one and sort of not the first one is because I actually did this tiger design first. It had a body as well and I'll link the video in the description or somewhere on the video so you can click into it and see that if you'd like. Uh, but that was the start of this sort of series of doing these big cats. And then from there I was sort of inspired to go with this face shape idea um, but initially I just made the tiger design which was just based on me seeing someone with a tiger on the back of their shirt at the office work and I thought hey I think I could do that with shapes and make it kind of cool but yeah this is the face part of it so I hope that you like this one and I think it's really relevant because this is where the idea kind of came from so it's sort of snowballed from here into using the different shapes. And I do use square shapes on a lot of my designs in general. So if you've seen a lot of the cat faces and things like that, they're all square and rectangular. Um, so that's kind of how the design process kind of like flowed on to these different projects that I have going on. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing these designs that I've done recently and I'm just gonna keep making more stuff I might have a break from the big cats for a little bit. I might mix it up a little bit and do some more cats and cute stuff in between. So I hope you stick around for whatever comes next and I hope you have a great week. Bye.